Hi everyone, this is Eric with VBAHowTo.com and I'm coming at you with a video called um, MS Access Form with the Combo Box. So this is a demonstration of a form with the Combo Box. Uh, when you open, this is a, a filter. We're going to talk about filters in this video and VBA and how to... Uh, how to filter your your data? Filtering is a is a very important part of of anybody's system, and to, to get to get like a printout of to get a printout to give to to give to your boss or manager or whoever you report to, or maybe yourself. Uh, we want to you, you have a large amount of data that can be stored by it's ideally stored by your access database. Uh, you just want to get a subset of that information. So we use a filter. And so we have a, I'm going to show you to do a, uh, a filter basically does, does this. And don't let this scare you because I'm going to change up this in a moment. Let's say I want March and <clears throat> March 1996. And <laughs> we're way past there. But uh, this, this sample information is coming from the Northwind database. And so, I mean, you could use this for, this was 20 years ago, but um, you could use these things, just up, update them. It's, it's the, uh, the principle doesn't change. It's still the same thing. We're just doing a date. Okay, so FRM orders is the order form. Let's see. So when I open up the database here, that form pops up. How do I do that? By going to File and Options, and this is really not that important, but maybe some of y'all need to know how to do this. Current database and FRM orders. Okay. All right. So, uh, and then you get this funny message that comes up. Anyway, that's good. Um, okay, so I'm I'm pulling information from the the customers. I the only reason I have customer tables here is for the orders to show up correctly. So customers orders table, and I have lots of orders. Again, this information comes from Northwind, and I wanted to populate this column here, the customer column. So I brought in the customer table. And then I have a QRY orders. Okay. And you could get this information, like detailed screenshots and all that, and code at the website, vvahowto.com. Uh, also click on that link in the description below. Okay, I'm going to post a link to it. If not, Go to vbahowto.com and find the uh, MS Access filter form with combo box. Uh, okay, so month and year. Real simple to get. Okay, Access is a built in function called month and a built in function called year. And ironically, it has to do with we're going to say, okay, if we say the month of the order date. We're going to add eight. Okay. So here in the design view and month order date, uh, year order date. Okay. That's, that's it. Month order. Date. So it's pretty easy. You don't have to do like uh, date, date, part and all uh, you can d d format the order date as a and then try to uh, does or get the date part the the month part of order date or the year part of order date uh, or format it correctly and all that so we're not doing all that we're just using month it makes it really really simple okay and no i don't want to say we change this and okay, so back at for, forum orders, uh, I'm going to click here on two and 1994. And anyway, I get no results. Why? Because I probably didn't click 
reset. Reset just sets my record set back to normal. Um, here is the code, and it's on my other screen here. You get the code at vbahowto.com. Also, the link in the description below. I have that. Okay, so reset clears the filters, and we're just using a filter. We're not setting the record source, and that's another way to do these filters. We can set the record source um, and have the form render whatever the record source is. But here we're using the form filter. Uh, here we're clearing the filter. Me .cb. These are the the combo boxes, what they're called filter this blah blah it's real real simple i'm formulating my sql string as i go along okay back to this again uh what do i have here let's see what's the important parts combo box this combo box is called cbo month okay if i right click choose properties now if i look at this i say it is CBO month. And if I look at this, again, if that's my naming convention, CBO, I put, some people may not like to use naming conventions. I do, uh, because it helps me distinguish what object I'm talking about. And since it's a combo box, um, I use, I use CBO. Okay, I'm not, the, you may have your own naming convention, that's fine. And then, uh, and, and, oh, and also a nice thing about this, okay, look at this form here. This is very, very nice. Um, I have a form at the top and a data sheet at the bottom. How do I get this effect? By using a split form, okay? Split form with the data sheet at the, at the bottom. Uh, at first, I didn't like split forms, but um, I think for this, it's pretty useful. Also for other applications too. I mean, it's a, it's like a well form and a sub form. That's your kind of equivalent and passwords. If you want to achieve the same effect, you have to have a form and a sub form. Here in these newer versions with 2000, um, I think it's 2000 or 2010 and beyond, you have the split forms. Okay, so you can set your default view as split form. Let me show you how. If you don't know that we have a we we're going to the form properties here. Uh, the let's see what property is it? It's this property right here. And oh, other sorry. Oh my gosh. Format. Yeah, I totally overlooked it. Here it is. Default form. Default view. <laughs> okay, single form, continue to form data sheet. That's all you had in the previous year versions. Here you have split form. You can use this. And if you look down further underneath, split form orientation, data sheet at the bottom. If you look, you have all these different options. Data sheet on the top, left, right. So you can have fun with that and also uh, redesign your forms. Make them uh, redesign, redesign all your forms if you want to. And uh, if that's a, a new option, you may want to play with. Okay. So, and I'm triggering the, my event, uh, the after update event. I'm not designing this form just for... Um, I, I already pre-designed it because I don't don't want to waste time trying to design it for y'all. Maybe you want to see it, but you know, hit me up on uh, vbahowto.com. I have a little mister thing. Make it do a screenshot or something. Um, so anyway, I'm using the after update event. So whenever whenever I fire an after update on here, I'm uh, requiring my filter. So what if I look at this again? Let's see.
okay, after <clears throat> after update, m, m underscore where is a modular level variable. So my scope is as the as the form while the form stays open, my variable is still in effect. <clears throat> so m where and I keep adding to this despite the fact I'm changing procedures. It's not a a procedural level variable. It's the scope is is larger. It encompasses the whole duration of the time that this form is actually open. Okay, so understand that please. So M where and what whatever M where is and blank. And then my month, and then and where and year again. Get the code at vba how to dot com, and then go to filter this. And here's where I do the the, the scrubbing. I clean the string first. Again, I didn't put I put filter this. Just it, we have one point where we go back to filter this. So the left, if the left is is and, scrub it off. Okay, mid. Then I do the, I, I use that mid function here. And then mid, mid filter. The four filter is going to be where the select string, and, or my select part. And then the filter on, I set the variable to true. When I reset it, I set the filter to no. And then... And again, it went and <clears throat> some of the all some of y'all who troubleshoot other people's machines uh, may want to see because when you close out of the form, uh, when you close out of a, a form, it it asks you sometimes to save it. And that's one one of the things with using a like sharing a form. Some users may make a filter and then. Just, just close it, close it out, and then uh, they may save save the form, and they save the form, the same the filter, and then somebody else, some other user opens up the same form, and they say, "Huh, that's weird. I don't know why it's looking the way it does." Well, it's because they save their filter, and so it's nice to have split forms where everybody has their own filters and everybody has their own way of handling the form. So that may be a, another option for you. Not sharing the same form, having a front end, back end type database situation. So that's that's all good. And hopefully you understood what I was talking about. Uh, if not, just uh, let it go over your head. Okay. Um, so again, oh, okay, finally, the last part of this. If you look at this, we have we have all this this situation here. One January two January February. Here I have all my months, and I only have twelve months. In twelve months of the year, it doesn't matter if it's in 2016. Doesn't matter if 2019, 2020, whatever. It's still gonna be the same months. Okay. This 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 is my this is my value list, and I have one, these are my, my string of values, but they're all in one column, okay? The key word there is one column. So I go back here and I look, here's where it is, my value list, how I define it under data, and then look at this, you see one, this is really neat. Again, you can get this this string at vbahowto.com. You know, as I said, this is value list. Here are my values. Um, one semicolon January. So here's my value. Here's my text. My value, text, value, text. Okay. Again, this is at vbahowto.com. Uh, notice it's in one column right now, so I'm changing this to two. I want two columns. I want a uh, index column, and I want a value column. 
So I have, I have my number. Now I have two columns showing up. My number and I have my uh, the name. So June. So it filtered by June. Um, if I do February. Uh, I have to reset this. If I do February, I get all my Februarys. It's very nice. Okay, but I don't want this to show up here. I don't want two to show up there. I want February to show up there instead. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to hide this column. Real simple. Go up into here and, and decide you're going to set the column width to zero. I want zero for my first column, comma, and then one inch for my second column. Those are just arbitrary numbers I just figured that's probably going to be enough space. And you may have to adjust as adjust your column width. Uh, that that was just fine. So one is good. Uh, August. Okay. Now it looks more. It looks more professional, realer, more realistic. Now my after update fires. And here I have all my records, all my orders for June of 1995. So that's great. Again, uh, that's the end of the video. Uh, make sure you click in the description below for the exact link. You can get this. And make sure you like and subscribe to this channel hopefully you got some value from this and leave me some questions if you need if you have some get get the code again i'm eric at vbahowto.com you can get the code there as well and y'all have a great uh great rest of your day or night bye